So once again, I welcome you all in the name of Yeshua uh, Mashiach. Uh, today I'm going to show you the preposition, exercise on preposition. So let's turn to uh, exercise number seven on preposition. I am able to see let's read first decor decor so decor Question over here is attach the preposition lamet inseparably to the following words. To all these words, you have to attach uh, lamet preposition. Now, the word bekor, if you see, it you have to attach lamet preposition to it. This word starts with shiva. General rule is Lamed with Shiva. Can two Shiva begin a syllable? So what will be it? It will be heightened to Hire. Yes. Live four. Live four. And this Dagesh will be removed. Hmm. Dagesh will yes. be removed. Live core. Then second yes. is Zahav. Zahav is Le Zahav. Hmm. Yes. Sir. Third one, Oev. Le Oev. Hmm. Fourth one, Afar, Le Afar, then Gamal, Le Gamal, Basar, Le Basar, Kokao, Le Kokao, Emet, now, the rule will be, it will take corresponding short vowel. Le emet. Le emet. Then, le vav. Le, le vav. Nahar. Le nahar. Le nahar. Then, at to. Sorry. Katep. Katep. Sin. Le katep. Le katep. He kal. Le he kal. Le he kal. Then, kokma. Here I didn't uh, get it because that is that I wrote in pencil. So is it la la khak? No, la khak. le khakma. Le on there. Yeah? Okay. Khazak. Uh, la khazak. Le khazak. Le khazak. Okay. <coughs> and shamayim. Le shamayim. Le shamayim. Then. Next question is attach both the inseparable preposition lamet and definite article to the following words. Adam. La Adam. La Adam. <laughs> 
before it was hack ever Hmm. Then it is lack of air. Dawar had dawar. La dawar. Had dawar. Hmm. Ir ha ir. La ir. Then Karen. Ha Karen. La Karen. Boker. Fifth one is what, sir? Fifth one. Fifth one is ir, ha ir, la ir. Ha ir, la ir, la ir, la ir. It is okay. Okay. Seventh one is boker. Ha. Ha boker, la boker. Ha. Eighth one is basar. Ha basar, la basar. Ninth one is door. La door. Hador, Lador. Lador. Hekal, Ha Hekal, La Hekal. Eleventh is Gibbor. La Gibbor. La Gibbor. Laila. 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 Olam. La Olam. La Olam. Rekush. La lekush. La rekush. Then. Okla. La okla. La okla. Lemet. I'm sorry. Melek. Le melek. Le melek. There will be a dagesh in names. Ham melek. Le melek. Yes. Or. La or La or Yom La Layom Layom Emmet Le Emmet Le Emmet Baruch La Baruch Le Baruch La Baruch Taot let 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 go. Let go. Elohim. Let Elohim. Now here, here this uh, Sarah will be there, no sir? Under. Yeah, and this will be removed. Ah, that will be omitted. Ah, yes. I wrote it with pencil. That omit. It should be omitted. Elohim. Ah. Then Adama. La Adama. Shamaim. La Shamaim. La. La Shamaim. Kahal. La Kahal. Sus. La Sus. Shem. La Shem. Gan. La. La Gan. Deror, la deror, and rosh, la rosh, la rosh, la rosh. This is you checked. Yes. Is correct. Yes. I can't hear you. Actually, I didn't solve the worksheet, Uncle. Okay, okay. The exam going on? Uh, yes, uh, just comments in, uh, in next week. Okay. 
this question c is attached a preposition mean inseparably to the following words so the first one is gamal gamal mig gamal mig gamal ha yes sir hakoshik me hakoshik me hakoshik mashal me mashal mashal raa me raa because of the guttural hmm? hmm. then adam me adam me adam next one is hack is say may hack is say may hack is say then afar may afar may afar ha har me ha har nahar me nahar there should be a doubling dagis also no sir yeah, in that yeah. ha osef um me os osef me osef then regal me regal me me regal because it is guttural na ha ah, okay this is the guttural okay. nakhash um me nakhash min nakhash nakhash min serpent ah had zot me had zot me had zot ha adama me adama and hekal me hekal me okay me so far guttural c of the book me okay sir okay next question is d the following words have the a prepositions prefix to them indicate whether they have the article or it is articular or do not have the article that is anarthrous if the word is articular give the anarthrous form with the preposition if it is anarthrous give the articular form with the preposition so first we have to identify whether it is articular or without the articular that is anarthrous let's look the first example be edom be edom is articular is it article articular no it is a articular form this i didn't get properly sir yeah i will hmm. now what is the rule of the preposition preposition will take the corresponding short vowel so hmm. edom under alef which are this is the short vowel मीन्स बिफोर देअर वॉज इज हिडन देअर if you write this he edom he edom article will take the corresponding short vowel na 
Ah, yes. And article will be removed and it will take, become be edom. Ah, yes, yes, yes. And if only edom is there, then this form you have to write. Ba edom. Mm. Ba edom. Before guttural, what is the pointing and position of the article if there is a guttural? If there is a guttural. Comets are pathetic. It's exercise number which? Seven. Seven. For oh, strong guttural patha can no dagish. No, no, just one minute. Huh? Okay, sir. See here uh, the word over here is de edom. Okay. Hmm. Be dom is the word. Hmm. If if edom is the word, edom, then what will be the article over there? We have to think on that. Edom is a weak guttural. So yes. before weak guttural, it is hey with comets, na? Hey we with comments. So it will be ha edom. And if we put bet preposition, then it will be ba edom. So it is not articular. Getting? So it is anarthrous without article. The example that they gave, it is without article. So you have to put cross on anarthrous. And what is the articular form? That is ba edom. Ba edom. Tana and Sandra, half an hour late. <laughs> Playing Dullywood? No, sir. Actually, uh, I reached from work just, just okay. now. And Shana, you are playing? It was late. Uh, yes, sir. Actually, I was doing my homework and then I forgot the time. I saw the time. Sorry, sir. Okay.
So second example we'll see. No. First, we saw that this is anarthrus, be edom. Second one, ka adam. Ka adam. Anyone uh, tell me whether this is articular, example of articular or without article? Ka adam. Just take this word, Adam. It's now tell me, according to the rules of the article, uh, what will be the pointing and position of K before the weak gutter? K with comets. K with comets. Ha down. Then if we put the preposition over there, it will become Kadam. Kadam. So tell me this one whether this is articular or not. Articular. Yeah. So before articular, you have to put a cross mark. That means this word is articular. So you have to write in your exam uh, an arthrus form that is without article. If Adam will be there, only Adam. Then what will be the pointing and position of the preposition K? Kaf. It will be calf will take which pointing? Calf will take which pointing? Comet. Preposition, I'm saying preposition. Okay. It will take simple Shiva, na? Ah. Kya 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 Question only, uh, you are confused with the question. Yes, yes. yes. See, uh. What is the question? You read it properly. The following words have a preposition prefix to them. Indicate whether the they have the article. Article usme hai kya nahi that you have to identify. Or if there is no article, that is called an arthros form. If the word is articular, give the anarthrous form with the preposition. If it is anarthrous, give the articular form with the preposition. Example they have given K Dawar. Now K Dawar is anarthrous form. Then you have to write the articular form. Articular form is K Dawar. Because if we put article, Had Dawar will become K Dawar. Hmm. Rule you know, na? if article is attached and we want to attach a preposition, then he will be omitted and it yes. will be pointing and position of the article. Article, yes. Okay. Similarly, now tell me this is the word me khatat. 
मे खात मे खात इज आर्टिक्युलर और विदाउट आर्टिकुलर विदाउट आर्टिकल विदाउट आर्टिकल बिकॉज देर इज नो डबलिंग दागेश इन दैट नो इन द फर्स्ट फर्स्ट लेटर ओके विदाउट आर्टिकल देन वी हैव टू पुट क्रॉस मार्क एट एन आर्थ्रस एन आर्थ्रस व्हाट इज आर्टिकुलर फॉर्म ऑफ मे खाता khatat is the word root word that means sin mm. and mean preposition is there mm. uh, if khatat uh, khat is there then what is the pointing and position of the article okay. hey with pathak path so it will be me ha khatat me ha mm. khatat okay so this is the form of article okay next word la ashot la ashot whether this is articular or without articular la ashot without articles yeah it is without article without article then you have to put yeah here anathas so then what is the uh, articular form if there is a ain what is the pointing and position of uh, hey hey with comma hey with comma comments so it will be ha ashot and ha ashot will be la ashot la ashot uh. that form you do right okay. the last one la ish la ish will be uh. it is Articular or anathras? Articular. Articular. So before weak guttural, pointing and position of he will be highish. You are getting, na? It will be highish, and he will be omitted, and it will become lahish. So it is articular. So where articular is there, there you have to put a cross mark. and what is the anarthrus form then leish 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 means to a man and laish means to the man yeah. you are getting na yes sir whichever word is articular at now for example kadam is like the man and ke adam without articular form is like a man so if anyone not understood this question d please ask any doubt or any query i think only the prepositions and uh, that basic we have to do it properly then we'll come to know about this isn't right. it mm. there we are lagging behind little bit then circle the one inseparable preposition which is pointed incorrectly in each set and explain why mm. for example here they have given laish behuda 
Bihuda and Ka Asher. So they have put the circle on Laish. Why? Because before a guttural, the pathag becomes comets for a definite article. So it will become Laish. So read this first one. Which one, sir? Shana, read this one first. Question. From uh, here. Yes, sir. Uh, ka Adam. Ka, ka Adam. Adam. Hmm. De Hekal. Hmm. Li Adama. Li Adama. Which one is wrong here? Um, li Adama. So? Li Adama. Yes. Li Adama. Li Adama. Okay. If I encircle this Li Adama. What is wrong in this Lee Adama? It should be Lee Adama. Ah, Lee Adama. Uh, it should be Pathak, no? Under Lee. Le. Because before a composite Shiva, yes. the corresponding short vowel is used. Mm -hmm. So, yes, which is yes. the corresponding short vowel over here? Uh, Pathak. 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 And lot hirek. Hirek hirek. Is hirek. So you have to write before a composite Shiva, a corresponding short vowel is used. Then second one, read. Bekol. Bekol. Then. Lehuda. Hmm. And Meragel. Now, in these three words, which is uh, pointed incorrectly? See this under your which vowel is there? Shiva. Shiva. And we have seen the exception Shiva should drop out under the Shiva. your. Yes, yes, so this is pointed incorrectly. It should be Lihuda. Everyone say Lihuda. Lihuda. So Shiva should drop under your. Hmm. Then this la th third one. Kadam. Kadam. Be Elohim. Be Elohim. Be Elo. Be Elo. Be Edom. Be Edom. Be Edom. Sorry. Be Edom. Now. Which one is wrong? Below Elohim. Okay. Be Elohim. Elohim. Below Be Elohim is wrong. So what should be there? Under Beth, instead of Segal, there will be Sere. Sere. And Aleph will Aleph will drop silent. Out the, uh, silent. Yes. Hmm? Yes, yes. Belohim. Belohim. Mm. This pointing and position, pointing of this Aleph, vowel pointing under the Aleph will be removed because this being an exception. Hmm? So an exception. Segal and Khatek, Khatek Segal combined uh, form will be Serialif. So 
Segol and Khatib. Segol combine to form a Tere Ale. That is exception. Now, fourth one. KFR. KFR. Belaila. Belaila. Meum. Sorry. Meish. Meish. So KFR is. Which one is uh, wrong over here? KFR, Balaila, or Mi Ish? Is it Mi Ish, sir? Yeah. And uh, Hirek should heighten to Serek before Hirek any gut no? Yeah. Uh, before guttural that rejects the doubling dagesh, so hirek should be heightened to sere, sere huh? to compensate. Okay. And uh, this last one. Meha adam. Meha adam. Meha adam. Min nakhash. Min nakhash. Lelekham. Lalekhem. Lalekhem, sorry. Lalekhem. So which one is wrong over here? Minna, min, minna khash. Yeah. Because noon doesn't have a doubling dagish. Yeah, correct. Right? Yeah. Before a non guttural, noon is assimilated by the means of doubling dagish in the first letter of the word. So here it should be. A doubling dagish min nakash min nakash okay so translation last question la ish already they have given for the man and ish a man so le adam Le Adam is for a for man. Adam, for a and man. Adam is for the man, the man. Because this is articulum. Then Migoy from a nation. Haggoy from the nation. The nation. Kayom. Kayom is like a day. Kayom. Kayom is like the day. Then me bait from a house, may have bait from the house. The house. Fifth one, K out. Like a father. Like a father, and Ka out is like the father. Mm -hmm. Then sixth one, Akher Ak. After a brother. After a brother and a care. Me, me. It behind a house. Then El Elohim mm -hmm. unto mm -hmm. God and Elohim to God. Oh. Eight one Ben Ha Ish between a man or the man Beli Kai without life. Here uh, Ben Ha Ish is between the man because article is there. Hmm between the man. The ninth one, et 
hadawar. Eth is with, with the word. And im ha adam, with the man. With the man. Then from here, 10th one, let's try to do translation. Ka Adam Lifane Elohim. What will be the translation? Ka Adam. Like the man before God. Like the man. The man before in God. In front or, or before God. Like the man before God. Then Ra'a. Ha Adam Ha Kohen. What is the meaning of Ra'a? Ra'a. Look here. Ra'a means to see. To see. Ha Adam means the man. And Ha Kohen. Kohen means what? Priest. Priest. Priest, the priest. The priest. So what will be the translation? The man saw the priest. The man saw the priest. Okay. The man saw the priest. Then, twelfth one, I want verses uh, to read this. Twelfth one, in Hebrew. Start from here. Hmm. Amer. Amer, very good. Hem, uh, heaven. Heaven. Me. Men Asha. Asha. Anyone translate this sentence? Amar Haben. Me Asha. Amar means. What is the meaning of Amar? He spoke. Yeah, he spoke. He said. Hmm? Right. Have been. Ben means what? Son. 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 Hmm? Have been is the son. The son. Huh. The now, son. May. May Asa. Because this is guttural, Ma becomes May. May means what? Asa means did. So Amar Haben, the son said, the son said, what? what have you done? Or what did he do? The son said, what did he do? Me Asa, what did he do? Okay. Thirteenth one, I want Shana to read this. Uh, yes, sir. Um, me, yeah. me, uh, Nathan, Nathan, my him, my him, la Adam, la Adam, me, Nathan, my him, la Adam, can you do the translation? What is the meaning of me? Me means who, no? Who? Nathan means um, what to give. To give. To give. Huh? Okay. Maim is Maim means water. 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 Huh? And La water. Adam. Man. The man. The man to the man because to it's the man. preposition. Hmm? Who gave? Hmm. Who gave water to hmm. the man? To the man. Very good. 
to give water to the man. Hmm. Okay. Fourteenth one. Lakshman Bhaiya, up padu. Haddi bear. Haddi. Haddi bear. Bear. Hamelek. Hamelek. Uh, Laam. Laam. Min. Min. He. 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 So, what would be the meaning of Haddi bear? Dibber means anyone? Uh, it is derived from which root word? Dawer. The bear means spoke. Khatir hmm? Pathak is there. Interrogative hey. Who will try this translation? The, the bear? King. Yeah. He spoke to the king. Yeah. Did or has the king spoke? La arm is to the people from the temple. Mean hahekal. Has the king spoken to the people from the temple or from the palace? Okay, fifteen one. Sister Archana, read. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, sim. Hmm. Sim. Uh, alo, Elohim. Hmm. Uh, uh, ha, 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 ar. Ba, ar, ha, 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 Hahar. Har, har. Hmm. Ba, ba, arit. Ba, arit. Ba, arit. Ba, arit. Now, sim, sim means put or place. Sim means put or place. Elohim is God. Hahar is the mountain. And Eretz or Aretz is land. What would be the translation? Who will draw? Sim Elohim Hahar Ba Aretz. God put the mountains on. Yeah, Elohim put the mountain in the land. Elohim or God who placed God placed the mountain in the land. Proper translation, smooth translation is God placed the mountain in the land. God placed the mountain in the land. Sixteenth one, who remains? Mm. Yes, Sandra. Nathan Elohim Haaretz. Elohim Haaretz. Laam. 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 What would be the translation? Elohim is God. God gave. Mm. God gave. God gave the earth to the people. Yeah, or God gave the land to the people. Proper translation is God gave the land to the 
people. Okay, seventeen also you try, sister. Last one. Ya, ya a. Yatsa, yatsa. Uh, sorry, yatsa. Hmm. Sorry, yatsa. Hakohan. Hakohen. Hmm. Hakohen. Maha he, maha hekal. Meha hekal. Hmm. Meha hekal. Lahar. Lahar. Yatsa means came out. Come out. He went or he came in. A Kohen is the priest. The priest came out. Me ha he kal. From the temple or from the palace. Lahar to the mountain. So the priest went out from temple to the mountain. The priest went out from the temple to the mountain. Any query or any doubts regarding these translations? Then this D section was a bit confusing. D section. Which? D, D section. Huh. Uh, articular and anarchist. No, no, the word which uh, that is given there, uh, you have to see whether that is articular or not articular. Not articular. All the questions yeah. which I have shown you, uh, I will come to know that yes. whether that is articular or without article. If it is articular, then you have to write. Uh, without article form, if it is without article form, then you have to write articular forms. For that, you should know uh, all the rules about the uh, article and preposition. Yeah. That will be easy for you. You have to see the root word and you have to attach article to it. And for preposition, A will be removed and there will be a preposition. So both the rules, you, you, you should uh, revise again. Uh, yes, sir. So, uh, it was really a blessed time on Sunday. Sunday was our anniversary, uh, 20, 22nd anniversary. Wow. And God gave us opportunity to preach two times. Double, double <laughs> blessings. So, <laughs> morning service, pastor said that you should preach. Uh, so, I spoke on glory glory of Yahweh Elohim and evening service also I spoke on glory of Yahweh Elohim so it was really a blessed uh, message to me also uh, so far I have spoken on the uh, Exodus chapter 33 about that glory uh, there are three types of three levels of glory first level is Shikna the root word is Shakhan Shakhan means to dwell you know from that the word derived is Mishkan that is a uh, dwelling place. And from that shakhan, uh, the word derived is shikna in Hebrew. And in English, we call it shakaina. And uh, in Exodus chapter 3, uh, Moses saw a bush was burning, but it was uh, uh, not consumed. So that was the shakaina glory. Uh, Moses saw face to face. And that was the uh, resting glory. God's resting glory on tabernacle on Mount Sinai. And that level of glory, uh, when it came, God gave Moses a revelation of uh, I am that I am. And after 30 chapter, uh, he, he, he was not satisfied with that level of glory. He want another level of glory. And then he Exodus chapter 33, he prays, uh, that is, please show me your glory. And uh, um, that kavod, the root word is kavod. Kevodeka is a pronominal suffix uh, attached to the word kavod. That means your glory. So Moses is praying, please show me your glory. So that glory 
kavod means uh, heavy weight heavy weights of god's glory and next verse god shows god says him uh, says to him he, i will pass all my goodness before you and i will proclaim the name that is a yashere before you and in 34th chapter of exodus uh, god uh, reveals when moses took uh, second time the tablets where god was going to print by his fingers the 10 commandments that time when moses of appears then he says lord lord gracious and merciful slow to anger and abounding in mercy and truthfulness showing mercy to the thousands but those finding fault he punishes to the third and fourth generation that is his glory he reveals to his uh, people his his character reveals his glory he is a tr- truthful god he is gracious he merciful uh, he always walks in truth uh, he is always slow to anger though a person sins against him he is slow slow to anger towards him that is his nature and his nature contains that glory and he shows he says that i will pass all my goodness that means uh, kavod glory is nothing but the weight of his goodness he surrounds us with his goodness though we are not worthy uh, still he sends his uh, big, only begotten son ishwa for us uh, and scripture says that uh, uh, when we were we were unaware of that knowledge uh it, during that time christ died for us god manifests or god displays his love towards us that with, while we were we were still sinner uh, he gave his only begotten son for us that that is the kavod level of glory and but go, moses wanted to see that third level of glory which was hidden before the ages uh before the ages before the world began uh there was a hidden glory in yahweh elohim and that moses wanted to see and he prays he petitions and he longs for that glory and god's forbids during old testament period he says that i will not show my glory my face cannot be seen no man can live so what he does there is he says there is a place before me and he hides him in the cleft of the rock and he puts his hand over there and he says while i pass it by my glory pass it by my back you will see but my face you can't see so his petition was regretted or that that time it was not answered and moses saw the back part of god's glory but not the face but uh, praise god in matthew 17 uh, when eshua was transfigured so that time he took his disciple peter and john and uh, when he was transfigured and his son uh, face uh, shone like a sun his clothes were brightened and that time he spoke with whom he he spoke kon bata sakte hai ke moses and elijah moses and elijah and moses petition was heard and that time uh, his face shined like a sun and moses spoke to him face to face mm-hmm. that time god didn't show him uh, his mm-hmm. back glory which was passing by but he shown his exalted glory and that third level of glory is name is doxa in greek and that word is never mentioned in uh, old testament because the doxa means the high he- uh, exalted state of his glory that means the risen life of eshua that is the resurrected life of eshua which was hidden before the ages and it it uh, it is only been seen through uh, suffering because eshua suffered on that cross for us and through his suffering through his death for real after that came third day resurrection and that resurrected power of god's glory was upon eshua that glory and therefore in john 17 he prays uh, the glory which was hidden with you father give me that glory and in 22nd verse he says matthew uh, sorry john 17 22 and 24 he says that i have given my glory to them whom to apostles and uh, he prays that lord uh, uh let them see that glory that is doxa let them see that glory and when jesus was on this earth you know that what happened all were healed all all 
not one single went and uh, not healed but all were healed and when that glory doxa glory came upon apostles uh, same thing happened with them because john 14 12 it says yeshua says the work that i do you do also and greater work than this shall you do in my name because that doxa glory came and because of that that doxa glory they uh, done the world upside and down upside down they did and they did very many miracles in uh, Acts chapter 2. Uh, only one sermon and 5,000, 3,000 people were saved. In that 10, 15 sermons, Peter's sermon. Then uh, next chapter, that is third chapter, Peter spoke and 5,000 men were saved. That, that was the era of uh, signs and wonders and doxa glories. Uh, only by Peter's shadow, people were healed. Uh, they used to take a uh, handkerchief from the pole and put on the uh, people who were possessed with demon position or those who were sick and they were getting deliverances and they were healed. So that was that area when Philip was preaching the gospel to that uh, uh, eunuch. And next moment he found in Shomron uh, preaching the gospel to the uh, Philippians. So uh, that was that glory, uh, in that glory, uh, uh, which uh, John experienced in John, first John, first chapter, he says that uh, that life or that glory, which we handled, which we touched, which we tested, and now we declare unto you. So that glory was transferred, transferred from Yeshua to his apostles and from his apostles to the ends of the world and now to us. And in Haggai, God has promised that the glory, that is doxa, glory of that last ecclesia shall be far more than the first ecclesia. So we are waiting for that glory that uh, not uh, 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 somewhere something will happen, but full manifestation of his glory will come once again and the gospel will be preached through end of the earth. And uh, surely uh, anyone... Uh, who who believes in that glory and who walks and who sees in that glory, uh, every person will be healed and God's uh, Spirit's new wave will come. And uh, uh, there will be two categories of people in spoken in Matthew 25. Five were the five virgins were the uh, foolish and five were wise. Why? Five were foolish last time I spoke. Why they were foolish? Foolish? Because they didn't Not take extra oil. oil. Yeah, they didn't take. What what they didn't take? Oil. Ex oil, oil. Extra oil. But uh, for taking oil, they should be keli, na? Yes. Keli means vessel in Hebrew. That vessel also did. See, take. when ten virgins appeared. Uh, there were for each and every one of them, there were kelis. They were given a lamp. Mm -hmm. Lamps were given. Oil were given. And those wise, wise virgins, what they do, what they did, uh, they took the lamps and they took keli. Keli is the vessel. And in that vessel, they took oil. But five, they didn't take keli. So now also in this last generation, uh, in our generation, there are two categories of people uh, who are just namesake Christian, uh, but there is one another category of people who, who, who believe in word of God, who believe in the power of the Holy Spirit. And uh, they believe that the prophecy of God's word that the last glory of doxa glory of that last ecclesia will be far more greater than the first ecclesia and uh, those who believe in that uh, will experience that but if uh, oil is nothing but uh, believing in God's prophecy in the Old Testament which has prophesied to uh, prophets oil is nothing but uh, uh, according to Joel uh, 2, uh, I will pour my spirit upon all flesh. And when it will come, they will prophesy. They will see vision. They will dream dreams. So this is our generation. This is our uh, timing. Uh, 
we must pray. We must stop praying the selfish prayer like, Lord, give me this, give me that, give me that. Give me. Uh, we must pray for God's glory. Because Moses was the greatest man of God on the whole earth. He was, God testifies that he was a humble man because he prays and he seeks God's glory. Directly he speak, speaks and says, Please show me your glory. David was also a humble man, man after God's heart, because in Psalms 27, 4, he prays. What he prays? One thing have I desired from the Lord, that I may seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord. And behold, his face, his face means his glory. So there are so many uh, people in the Old Testament who desired to see his glory. And there is one person, uh, all the apostles, and there is one person who seeks uh, God's glory in a very desperate manner. And that his name is Paul. In Philippians, he says that I may know him and the power of his re resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering being made conformable unto his death. Paul is the one person who, who wants to experience this glory by being conformable to his death. He knows that this glory comes only by suffering. But for us, Yeshua has taken already suffering and he has given us that, that doxa glory. But Paul uh, prays to God that I want to know him, Lord. And the power of your resurrection and the fellowship of your suffering being made conformable unto your death. And this was the message in short I told you. But uh, times on Sunday, uh, God gave me his grace to preach this message uh, on uh, Sunday morning and evening service. <coughs> I know that as I have spoken to you, you are also blessed. Yes, yes. This message and you will also pray to Yaya Velohim, please show me your glory. And he will show you his glory. First of all, he will pass his all goodness before you and will proclaim the name Eiya Shireya in, uh, in, in every area of your life. There will be a financial breakthrough. There will be a shalom in your house and there will be a, uh, a turnaround in every situation. Uh, that is his kawod glory. But pray to God to show his exalted form of glory that is his doxa glory and he will surely show you and not only show you but he will give you an experience of his doxa glory because his glory when it comes it, it indwells in your spirit it always is with you uh, his name is Emmanuel he want to reside and dwell in you so may Yahweh bless you all abundantly Okay. Sir, one question. Yeah. How did you learn Hebrew and from where, where and how, sir? Okay. Uh, the first thing uh, that I Hebrew, um, I, I was longing to learn Hebrew uh, was there was one uh, person uh, from Bombay, uh, but he was having uh basic knowledge means alphabet and till that level only he taught and he was directly going into the decoding after learning this uh, alphabet but from his, him i took inspiration to learn biblical hebrew and after that uh, there was an unending now i don't read bible in my mother tongue <laughs> I never read even though if I read one chapter I will read in Hebrew I, I, I have no desire to read it in mother tongue that, that, that doesn't mean that I uh, don't give any value to the mother tongue uh, I have read that uh, Bible in mother tongue so many times complete Bible original original yeah. Yeah, but I, I read even New Testament and Old Testament. Now I'm reading New Testament in Hebrew. Mm -hmm. uh, Old Testament completely I have read. I completed the whole Old Testament in Hebrew. Yeah. So uh, I'm not yet completely, means 100% strong in vocabulary. But slowly, slowly, uh, I'm getting uh, knowledge of that vocabulary little by little. We are all, uh, you know, that uh, we are not uh, completely fa 
it is unfamiliar language mm, yes so, yeah. this is a process of time maybe in coming years i'll be completely well enough in vocabulary but at least uh, if a jew person person in jewish background if he comes i can talk with him that mm, so nice. i can and uh, the, it, during the pandemic time i i learned a lot uh, mm. this uh, grammar book which uh, i have given you uh, i have read that grammar book i think 10 times <laughs> 10 to 15 times i have read that grammar book and apart from that i have uh, collected lot of stuff if you see my cupboard it is completely with uh, all the dictionaries and all hebrew bible i have uh, every uh, new testament hebrew uh, all the new testament i have one one book in hebrew what about greek sir uh, greek also in uh, some days before i started learning ha huh. greek yeah i know some basic uh, i can read greek ha huh. i have read alphabet and i can read greek but uh, since uh, greek is uh, hellenized hebrew hmm. uh, if you see eshua in the old testament uh, he spoke hebrew only hmm he spoke uh, hebrew only but because uh, there was a rule of alexander the great uh, hmm. in that uh, yeah, region yeah. so that time the greek were most spoken language mm. so that's why uh, it was written in greek but uh, all eshua's ministry was in hebrew okay okay now because i am having a language in the second year yeah greek uh, i have taken greek hebrew yeah, is also it, it, it will I... help in uh, uh, understanding uh, new testament yes yes that's sure why i wanted yeah. to ask you <laughs> okay but uh, i i tried to learn greek uh, to some level i i went but uh, i don't know i have a desire to learn hebrew only hebrew more so, uh, new testament also i am reading hebrew uh, so all glory yeah. to yahweh elohim uh, you can go beyond me there are some person versus lakshman at this age if you try to uh, if you are being focused if you are being focused to that uh, language na uh, you will go beyond your imagination yes because a young person like persis uh, she is in ninth standard ninth no or 10 nine something nine if she learns uh, being fully focused there is shana also shana what is your age i'm 14 sir 14 na you are also ninth standard na yes sir see both are ninth standard if they my are... ninth grade just finished i got into 10 pardon She's gone to ten. Uh, my ninth grade has finished now, so I've started okay. my first week of ten. Okay, okay. So now you are in ten. Very good. So both of them, if they are focused and learn Hebrew for just five to six months, uh, they they uh, there will be a uh, they will even read, write, and speak fluently. But at their age, uh, it will be very le- little difficulty. uh easy to grasp also no yeah, it, it is easy mm. to grasp in their age mm. so, yeah. so and i know that uh, they will be uh, focused and after completing this course they will be continue to uh, learn hebrew and you all mm-hmm. not only they well. so yeah yeah we will bless you all Uh, sister archana please pray yes, and request us yes sir apan prarthna kurya he sarva samarth thoran daya devapa amantu divas akuni sandhyakala dakuli tuja paajo ekatra kele sujukar mantu tuja naam dhanyavaad deto tuja stuti karto devapa devapa aaj sandhyakala odi sundar galuli devapa 
देवपा तुझ्या भाषेविषयी देवपा आम्हाला तू समजून दिलंयस मग तुझे उपकार मानतो देवपा ज्या 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 वेळेस आणि ज्या ज्या ठिकाणी आम्हाला अडचण पडत आहे देवपा ते व्यवस्थितपणे आम्हाला समजावं असं तू कर देवपा विशेष करून सरांसाठी मागत आहे त्यांच्या फॅमिलीसाठी मागत आहे देवपा त्यांच्यावर तू विपुल तुझा आशीर्वाद पाठव देवप्पा आणि देवप्पा तुझ्या मार्गामध्ये ते जात असताना देवप्पा देवप्पा तुझ तुझा पवित्र हात त्यांच्या बरोबर असल्यामुळे देवप्पा तू त्यांना चांगल्या रीतीने सांभाळत आहेस मग तुझे उपकार म्हणतो तुझ्या नाव धन्यवाद देतो तसंच देवप्पा आमच्या इतर स्टुडंट्सवर आशीर्वाद पाठव देवप्पा आम्ही जे शिकत आहे देवप्पा जे नवीन लेकर लहान लेकर आहेत देवप्पा ह्या आमच्या क्लासमध्ये त्यांच्यावर विशेष करून आशीर्वाद पाठव देवप्पा त्यांना भरपूर आशीर्वादित कर त्यांच्या अकॅडमिक एक्झाम्स मध्ये त्यांच्या बरोबर राहा त्यांच्यासाठी तुझ्याकडे मागत आहे आजची संध्याकाळ दाखवलीस तुझी उपकार मानतो ते बप्पा आमच्या प्रत्येका बरोबर राहा आमच्या प्रत्येकाच्या फॅमिली बरोबर राहा ते बप्पा आम्हाला आशीर्वादित कर असं तुझ्याकडे मागत आहे येशूच्या गोडान पैठण नाव मागतो म्हणून तू आई बप्पा आमेन 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 सलाम आणि Thank you sir. Bye Lehitra Utlaila to. Lehitra Ot. Hello.